I like my green with crystals like folders. Picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Naba hole. Crack a bottle though. Make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from a twos to right street shit like JJ of dynamite. Slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh. And promise not to leave nothing left. If you bomb it, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting. Till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. Ha <laughs> ha the great, great, greatest is. <laughs> man, I'm. Hey, look, man. I felt like I was kind of busting some rhymes right there, man. man. I felt like I don't get my true due, man. Nah, man. Man. get them broke ass rhymes out of here, Mike. That was that you, nigga. It was me. I was <laughs> in my you closet, son, man. man. You. I was in my closet, man, Probably and I now. used my clothes <laughs> as my fucking. Uh, <laughs> he was rhyming in the shower like Fred Flintstone <laughs> over here. In my sound barriers, man. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Look, Mike Robinson Boulevard. Thanks for joining. We having fun tonight. My name is Mike Robinson. Um, and uh, next to me, I got my man. Say your name. Ow, Say the game. Sure. AKA Nefarious Baltimore. How y'all doing? All right. <laughs> that shit sound. That shit sound smooth. Hey, motherfucker. yeah. That nigga out, man. Where's your pool hall, nigga? Mm-hmm. We going we gonna, we gonna to perform what? at your pool hall, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> out the type nigga that'll slap you with a pool stick. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> and you get some of the little blue chalk dust on you and shit. Too old to be trying to fight shit. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I hear yeah. you, man. All right, after Al, we got my main man, who? DeWan Brown. All what right. up, y'all? What up, y'all? Ha ha. <laughs> we got Money Making Melrose Uncut coming in uh, in a few minutes. So we just going to jump on up in uh-huh. this shit, man. How y'all doing, man? Oh, man, we pretty, good, man. man. How you doing? We having mate? a good day, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting better. You getting better? What, uh, what, you got a cold or something, nigga? You got the flu? What are we talking about? I had a doctor's appointment. Oh shit! Oh, uh, for the guy to get that ass check. The nigga went up in you. The guy you had got that. They they went up in you. I got a prostate. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit, man! Was you damn? Tell us about <clears throat> it. <laughs> what? Woo. What you say? <laughs> It, well, what she laughing about? I mean, you know, <laughs> y'all don't get them, but if you got them, it's a normal thing. I mean, it's not normal for a man to go through no shit like no, that. No, it ain't, man. Yeah. Okay, you... nigga, just get to the shit, nigga. Did they go up in you? Look, man. You know, <laughs> shit. Contamination is what I had, motherfucker. Ain't nobody went up in nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you said fuck with that fuck shit, that. nigga. This shit was an ex- exam. That's nah, exactly what. That's it what was. it was, man. They was looking out for you for your health, man. No, you, but I'm you saying, hired like, them like, to do God, it, thinking, no, so you look I, at it differently. No, you you saying, hired them. You said like, nigga, look, I'm gonna lay down on this table <laughs> and you check my shit for me, nigga, right quick. No, it's it's an examination, all right? I ended up doing it my goddamn self. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it got worse. I it just got worse. I, of course it did. I was like, motherfucker, exactly what am I supposed to be searching for? <laughs> nigga, did you really do yourself, nigga? Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay, we're man. done. Man, That's I don't bad. want That's... nobody goddamn penetrating my ass, nobody else's finger, but they have, if there's a finger that got to go up in that motherfucker <laughs> my health, right. it will be my motherfucking home, nigga. I think we're done here. Y'all niggas out of yeah. y'all damn mind. Uh, the one, you brother man. You goddamn yeah. white yeah. guy get man. behind you with some plastic gloves and do his goddamn thing. Oh, or God. Or a female to put on some plastic gloves. Oh, now we're talking. Jesus. I'm doing okay. an examination. I am checking my my ass for cancer, <laughs> not for goddamn enjoyment. If I had to choose, nigga, it's that beautiful lady nurse. Tennis. Oh, yeah. Well, you can have that. If I had to choose. And I hope she right, leave man, a we... press-on nail in your ass. What is that? Leave press-on nail. <laughs> uh, okay, I see how we doing it, man. You better shit. You look at a nigga. You, man, you nigga, nigga live to have left his no, uh, wedding ring head. in your ass, nigga. <laughs> 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 I don't want to wear this ring no more. Ow, it's time for your 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ring I can't get off. All right, Yo. look, man, fuck this shit. Dewan, how you doing, man? What's up? I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm good, man. You had a, a cool show the other night? Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I'm Flappers? Yeah, Flappers. That shit was funny. It was packed. Yeah, we had... <laughs> We had, it was a happy birthday to Smokey Deets, you know what I mean? Smokey, I don't know if you're watching, but happy birthday again. Y'all had a packed house and shit? Yeah, it was packed out there. It's a little, the motherfucker is, is the size of a trailer, goddammit, but, you know, it's still packed. You know? <laughs> right, nigga, packed is packed. <laughs> it's still packed, you know what I mean? <laughs> shit. A sardine can is only this big, shit. nigga, but it's uh, still packed. Thanksgiving dinner's a packed house in that motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> Shout see. out to Flapper. I like that comedy club. Nah, I like, I like them. I, I like what they're about, Book me man. again, Flappers. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, let me headline next time though. Come on now. I like I like what they about and shit. Man. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, I do. It's a nice little venue. I love it. I do. Yeah, way out in Claremont though. That's goddamn shit. <laughs> Claremont be. People who, who moved to Claremont and Montclair, people who couldn't make it in L.A. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Niggas got them little half heels and shit. Yeah, you moved out there because you was running from a problem back in the 80s, motherfucker. That's, yeah, that's why you living out there. Nigga, it's a gang of bangers out there, too. Uh, yeah, dog. Meet your ass. Man, I'm kind of like in mourning. Not mourning, but yeah, kind of mourning. A type nigga that I am and shit, I am in mourning. Mourning from what? Slightly, but not really. Just in a joking way. This weekend is Morehouse's 150th anniversary homecoming. Okay, okay. And I'm not going. Why not? Man, I can't even say it on the air, man. I'm not that brave. What? But look, I can't go, man. I can't make it, right? And I am feeling it, man. Like, niggas is starting to post their little photos and shit and their little pictures. Niggas is tagging me on the flyers to shit. And, all right, fuck it, man. I'll say it. Dude. Say it. Saturday is my wife's birthday. Hey, that's, that's a good reason. Hey, you know what I mean? She- I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't not, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be such a sleazeball, man. Just go and say, like, baby, can we do it on Friday? Can we practice? Can we celebrate your shit on Thursday? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's not right, right? That's not right. Is uh, Morehouse? Morehouse, nigga. So, when was the uh, celebration? Is this coming on Thursday? It's this weekend. You know, the homecoming ga- game and the day oh, and shit yeah, is yeah, all yeah. on Saturday, oh, yeah, nigga. It's on Saturday. <laughs> and the birthday's went, on Saturday. Y'all could have went together. That's nah. what I was about to say. The nigga, that, don't you think that was the first thought that came to my mind and shit? Well, why didn't you do it? Nigga, she didn't want to go, dude. What's nah. that? No, nah, I can do what the fuck I want to do. That's why I've been married for so long, dude. It's compromise and shit. Well, right. Yeah. Well, you ain't got to compromise on that, and she I don't know, understand. Man. Damn. <laughs> be back for church Sunday. You should see all the niggas be tagging me and shit, man. Uh, My crime partners and shit. I mean, no, man. That's Look, last man. time I was at the homecoming, shit, right? I was. It was 2007, right? And I haven't been going all these years because my son plays football. So since my son plays football, you know, it's like I want to see all his games and shit. So I don't want to miss none of his games going to another motherfucker's game. And shit. Yeah, I feel you on that. So now that he's not here now, he in college, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is the year, baby. It's on. And then the calendar hit how it hit, man. So fucked off. So anyway, my homie... Well, Mel Rose, thanks for joining the Pit Tarte. Uh, so look, man, my homie, last time I was there was 2007, right? Uh-huh. My homie hit me. I was like, yo, man, I'm going. And I'm like, damn, I ain't going, man. He's like, oh, shit. Remember the last time we went? And I had totally forgot about this shit we did. But basically, man, I I, I basically had this running from the school police situation and shit. <laughs> the last homecoming. You know, graduated though? Robert. Yeah, nigga, 2007. How are you not a student running for the school police? I know, man. That's what I'm saying, man. It's embarrassing. <laughs> what shit is that? I was an old you're nigga. Not oh, school man. Police. You're you're not not school man. Like 2007. You was a grown man. Let me tell you how old I was, man. You're going to take my library phone? Nigga, that was just 10 years ago. Let me tell you what happened. You know how, like, okay, so Morehouse is on one side of the street, Spelman on the other side, right? The street goes in between them. Two lanes going this way, two lanes going this way. Okay. Well, way up here at the freeway, nigga, they had stopped motherfuckers from going this way. So they want nobody else coming. If you ain't here already, motherfucker, you don't get in. Mm-hmm. And it's bumper to bumper traffic mm-hmm. for motherfuckers leaving. 
right? Like, so much traffic, it take like 30 minutes to move like fucking 20 feet and shit. Crazy, right? <coughs> so, nigga, I get, get out the lane, drive my shit down the side of the street where ain't nobody on it, right? Gutter. Take the gutter. It ain't no danger, dude. It ain't nothing, right? <laughs> Nobody's there. Leader of the so pack. So, nigga, I had, I had made it far than a motherfucker, and the nigga got his feelings hurt, man. And the nigga jumped in front of my car and shit. <laughs> a motherfucker jumped in front of my car, oh, dude, dude, on some Morehouse security shit, dude. And so, yeah, I stopped my shit. You know what I mean? I don't want to hit a nigga. Right. So I was like, bam, stop my shit. This nigga comes to the window like, give me your ID. Give me your fucking license right now. That's how you're supposed to pull off. And my homie was like, nigga, what the fuck are you standing here for? Nigga, get out of here. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah so. And nigga, yeah. I put that shit in reverse, nigga, and said, nigga, start going down that empty street in reverse, nigga. And Why not forward? Because the dude was in front of me. Oh, okay, yeah. So I had to back up until I got far enough where I could be like, yeah, tap. <laughs> nigga, like, do a, like, TCR uh-huh. racing type shit, uh-huh. nigga, and just do a three-wheel. So, nigga, I did that. The motherfuckers was running in the middle of the street, and he was calling up ahead, and motherfuckers was running, and I was just getting past niggas. It was like a movie, dude, for real. Go all the way to the other side of the school, get to the gate, and the motherfucker had just got the call, like, don't let that nigga out. <laughs> nigga, I had to back up from right there, this nigga go down another street, nigga, and I got out that motherfucker, dude, and I was too old. Nigga, I was like hey, 38 years old, nigga. I was Starsky and Hutch ass out of here. Hey, you nigga. forgot your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> man, like, hey, you so forgot your ticket. That's my most recent Morehouse homecoming experience, man. That's how wide open You probably is, banned from going back there. That's why <laughs> <I> <laughs> man. You wouldn't welcome forget. back. I know, man. <laughs> it's rough, man. It's the next one. We're going to talk about it. What's up, Mel Rose? How What's you doing, up? man? Doing Thanks for joining good, me, man. man. Thanks for uh, having me. I'm sorry I'm late, man. Yeah, I'm man. sorry I'm mm. like that. L.A. traffic is a motherfucker. Yeah, hey, exactly. Crenshaw Streets is a beast right now, man. Crenshaw Streets Subway. Oh, it's nasty out there. Mm. Subway. So, man, I, you know, I, I tripped off of today, dude, how the shit was like damn near 90 degrees, 88 degrees, yeah, man, in L.A. Well. with a nice blue sky and shit, Shouldn't man, in, in, in October, man. How oh. special is that, man? Isn't That's just normal, yeah. man. Yeah, it's dude, normal for L.A. Do niggas... Do you appreciate it, though, on a daily basis, man? Because it's so normal that sometimes it's hard. Like, motherfuckers be like, it's a great day today. I'd be like, damn, niggas like this every day. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. When I pay that high-ass rent, I appreciate that shit every goddamn first of the month. Because shit, I could be paying $17.95 a month to live in Minneapolis. Uh, yes, but I have to deal with that cold bullshit That's in a right. six-bedroom house. Fuck that. Give my apartment in L.A. with this good weather. I'm good. Some days I just wish it to rain around this motherfucker, man. Like, uh, <laughs> some rain to help a yeah, lot of shit. Yeah, it dude. rain's cool every now and again. Not every now and then. I mean, like, seasonal. Like, like We yeah. should have seasonal rain. We don't have rain anymore. They could make it happen, too. I they could. The they stopped the shit. The niggas said they could make it happen. They can. They do it all the time, man. We had good rain last year. That's why we got them goddamn grass now. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, we had good rain. <laughs> we grew all that grass. That's now. the it's first boring. time in, like... Ten years and shit has been like a really good one. You that know, shit's yeah. I mean, even if they, you got the ability to have fucking planes and helicopters that are, able to, that are able to fly over and drop water over goddamn fucking fires and shit, you can make it goddamn rain. Even nature didn't do it. Mm. You've seen those planes over. I seen over. them. Yeah, they that's not rain, water. my nigga. That's a it wet ain't one. rain, but it's still <laughs> it is still water. Is what the fuck I'm saying. It'll stop a lot of the goddamn fucking brush fires. Oh, shit. Time. Just turn on. <coughs> we're going to do it like clouds. that. Just turn on right. the uh, water hose. Yeah. And get yeah. your own All personal ways. shit. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. All of that. The niggas tripping off of that shit happening up there in Sonoma, man. Yeah, right, that's crazy. Burning man. people's weed, man. 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 They, 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 they said a shitload of weed burned down, man. Man, yeah, man. Yeah, tens of thousands of acres of nigga, weed was burned. Weed. Yeah, weed yeah. and wine. Weed and weed, wine was yeah. burned. Uh, yeah, weed and vineyards, man. They did that on purpose. Somebody did that to somebody, and I'd be mad. I don't know, man. Uh, Where, I don't hope not. Lost a lot. Man, me, me and my wife, wife had a trip plan to go up there in two weeks into the wine country. Oh yeah, I was going to go to wine country and weed country, just a little bit north of that. Y'all can still I was planning on making shit. That shit charred up right now. Hey, nigga, you could still go, though. I could, but... Bottles man. are still for sale. <laughs> it's probably yeah. cheap, though. It's probably cheap as shit. Like, like giving the shit. Like, you can get this burnt sweet. Get, the burnt Sienna yeah, sweet. I get <laughs> cheap, lo- cheap wine and black lung, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm Please wipe your bottle. 
I mean, <laughs> exactly. you to walk through at that time. I mean, what, what, all that shit is on fire, and you know it's hot, but what type of high do you think you could have gotten if you walk into the field Ooh, just man. got them... Burning. Man, shouts out to those <laughs> shouts out to those those prisoners they got putting out them fires. I know you got a good contact high when they hey, got to man. that weed. <laughs> y'all deserve oh, it for a dollar an hour. Y'all deserve it, man. y'all. Oh, that's extra Shoot. levels of, of the game. They, Look, they, I, hey. nigga, I want to be on like a hang glider, nigga, and just be like right above the fire. Nigga, just, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga over here with it. Yeah. Man, Char- Boreal real, man. Mike. Uh, I have dreams of shit like that, nigga. Uh, that's some white shit. Only white people like to do dangerous shit like that. <laughs> white people find adventure in that. Like, I'm going to hang glide over the fire. See, man, niggas fear their way into <laughs> that. No fun. I'm going to land right in that little soft spot. <laughs> right uh, that spot's here. not burning right there. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to land look, right there I and get picked up. I'm going down the street and get out. This nigga want to hang glider. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, why would you want to walk, nigga? I want to be above the shit get where, the, where, I could be, you know, where I'm, the smoke I'm is safe, rising, yeah. nigga. And you want to just get high and crash into something. <laughs> At least my fall won't be too far if I get fucked up. Because you gonna get fucked up, nigga. It was your fantasy, motherfucker. I just but jumped I'm, on yeah, it, nigga. I, I, I know. I, I just got some weed, man. nigga, in my car, motherfucker. <laughs> I know, Mike. I'm just saying, you, just... nigga. Don't apologize, nigga. Uh, ain't, no, ain't nobody apologizing. I just see you as like the Batman. With you. Man, what y'all niggas like about L.A., man? Tell me, Al, man. What you like about L.A.? I meet You're niggas not like you. Ass, nigga. Uh, yeah, that's what I like. I'm just, I'm just, and I, this nigga gonna be unappreciative. And I yeah, you Georgia ass nigga that's unappreciative. <laughs> and I'm telling him I like me motherfuckers like you. When okay, you say I'm that. sorry. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I love LA, man. The culture and every goddamn thing about it. Yeah. You know, the women, the opportunities, just everything. And I, just to be free to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Man. I love it. It's not free anywhere else? It's free in L.A. because that's where I'm at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what he asked me Makes about. Yeah. But okay. L.A., I'm, I fucks with you though on a level that L.A.'s got some type of level of mind freedom to the game, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, when I'm other places, man, it don't feel like it feel when I be in L.A., dude. Just how super slow motion, laid back, like free. I could just feel and shit at this motherfucker. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You be in New York and shit, you be like motherfucker like... Yeah, Ready for action up. and shit, yeah. nigga. Like mm-hmm. LA mm-hmm. motherfuckers can chill and shit and be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, weather has a lot to do with that. Too. What you think, Dewan? What you like about LA? I love LA. Cause I travel. You know, we go to other parts of the country. I do mosquitoes and humidity and all that Hell bullshit. Yeah. Big ass bugs the size of your feet. That shit don't happen here in LA. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I mean, we got reasonable sized rodents and shit. We ain't got big ass rats like New York. <laughs> we don't smell like like. New Orleans smell like a wet rag when you step off the airplane. Uh, yes. Mildew rag. You know I ain't lying. I love New Orleans. Bourbon Street ever shots out, but we don't stink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And <laughs> on on top of that, it's just like on top of that, the women, the weed, and the weather. Mm, you mm, know what I mean? Mm. I like you got different sizes. Like, w did you just hit nigga yeah. the WWW? We you, got women, got the, the weather. you got the valley out there where all the people who don't who ain't from LA move to and shit. Wow. You know what I mean? Then you got the, you got real Mexico with the real taco trucks and shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anywhere east of Crenshaw, you ain't gonna uh-huh. find a bank in Crenshaw, but you're gonna find plenty of goddamn taco trucks uh-huh. and shit. Uh-huh. Then you got yeah. the, all the weed you can smoke in Venice Beach. Just walk yeah, down the street yeah, in yeah. Hollywood with a joint in your hand, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. so I you like just named a lot of special shit right there. Yeah, man. We don't man. Have to, also, we don't have to deal with tornadoes, hurricanes, none of that shit. That shit. No. We, get, we get earthquakes. Our last big earthquake was. Yeah, earthquake. Yeah, the, but the last big one we had was 94. Right. If we have one tomorrow, I'll take that 20 years. Hey, man. nigga, I'll please. take that 23 years. And this shit be fun, I'll nigga. You just got to have your sure. balance and shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You know, be ready the to... last big one was Northridge. It's been 20, 25 some odd years. Yeah, man. If we have one tomorrow, I take it. Shit. <laughs> nigga, nigga, New Orleans, hey, how many hurricanes? Them niggas have a, hey, li- a and, month. And that says a nigga that wasn't in that apartment that crashed right, in the city right, right, right there. Right. <laughs> hey, but, yeah. hey, but our brick wall and all that shit fell in that really? motherfucker. Timmy, all that shit got shit shuffled out. Oh, uh, shit. All that. Nigga that? took wounds and shit. All that shit got shit shuffled. <laughs> <laughs> what about two Melrose? Ah. Uh, what do I like? Do like about about L.A., man. I, I like the fact that L.A. will feed your every fantasy. Like, there's Ooh. nothing that can't happen in L.A. If you imagine some shit you want to do, there's a place in L.A. for it. That's what I like mm-hmm. about L.A. It's, it's pretty much 
a go on anything that you want to do anytime too mm-hmm. like, yeah. what you, know you know mean I mean? elaborate on that man give I me mean, some examples um create your own destiny mm-hmm. what do you mean like it's like snow capped mountains is 40 minutes away that mm-hmm. too malibu uh, is the other 30 other minutes 30 away minutes of beaches right there niggas the, got wilderness and fucking everything, desert everything anything mm-hmm. you want to be in la is possible <laughs> like and it's and it's centrally located too you yeah. don't really have to go far to right. get to the shit that's if right. you in la you know right. what I'm saying? Like, that's mm-hmm. why I think it was uh, South Central, because it was centrally located to uh, everything. everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, you know what, man? I'll say this, man. I give props to whoever them first motherfuckers was that came to this big-ass valley that was wide open. was like, ooh, shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we going to park our shit right here, nigga. The ocean is right there. We got all this wilderness. Thousands of years, flat man. Flat land. We got, man. It been here thousands of years. There's mm-hmm. a fun fact about L.A. Washington, Venice, Pico, you know, those streets go from downtown yeah. Yeah. to the ocean. Well, they say those are just nothing but paved over native highway, hi- highways that have been there for over a thousand years, thousands wow. of years, from Bunker Hill to downtown. Wow. So they came up in here, you know, and, you know, and in Los Angeles. You know, it was you know this this was this was us. You know what I mean? This is this is the place. Was that everywhere. was a wow. fun fact. That yeah. was a fun fact. Hey, look, I got another fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> For the size of the city that LA is, right? Yeah. Um, downtown is actually located in the wrong place. Wow. Downtown should be located in Long Beach, mm. and the whole city should grow from there and spread out. As opposed to there being a little mini downtown in Long okay. Beach, and then a big downtown, and where downtown is, and then there's like Century City, got another little one, and then there's like Beverly Hills, and then there's Hollywood, there's Santa Monica, all the other cities that you can think of. Their metropolitan area is all linked together; it's not spread out. Mm. Uh, so, so downtown they, is actually uptown. What our downtown is actually uptown? Is that what you're talking? Yeah, exactly. Okay, but, but, Absolutely, but, Melrose. But, 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 Melrose. But, 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 Melrose. Jefferson, man. L.A. Sorry. City, L.A. go away to Palmdale. I know. That's so, what I'm saying. How many other cities, man, have multiple downtowns? I know. It's so fucking big. And they're building this shit up even more. Like, goddamn. Yeah. It's so beautiful. This only city is multiple downtowns. Gotta love it. Gotta yes, love it. I know. Man, what's some fun shit that niggas used to do that they no longer do no more, man? Skate. Skating, man. I'm with you on that, man. I, I used to get out and skate. Doing it. Yeah, but I'm, I ain't doing that shit no more, man. I don't play no basketball no more. I don't jog. I don't do nothing. God damn. That I have to do too fast other than fuck no more. Ain't you got some I'm workers company? Yeah, I got that, man. But, I, I you know, your heart, man, it, it beats. So skating. You right. was a skating type nigga? Yeah. I was a skating type nigga, yeah, man. Yeah, I, I used to be in World on Wheels. Off. I used to be in fucking... Um, skate land USA, nigga, skate man. depot in Cerritos. Man, I used to hate skating. I was a skate type nigga, man. That I shit was skate. Good. And like they used to play like a song. They used to have like designated songs. Mm-hmm. So like solo song that mm-hmm. they'll play. Then the next one be like all cu- skate couples only. Yeah, they had like the all skate, <laughs> or did they have like couples yeah. only? And you like hold hands and shit, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. The reverse skate, oh, man. Y'all don't skate. know. Oh yeah, exactly. They had the reverse Backwards skate. Only. I used to go on gospel night with my church, and they'd be shootings at Ward on Wheels. You know what I mean? That's how that shit. Like they go them. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. They go them Baptists. They provide that for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. <laughs> hey, is that them Baptists over there? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Skating can't be <laughs> safe in the community. The denomination beast going on. And shit. Wait, Melrose, man, did you have some church drama at the skate rink? <laughs> Is that them niggas over there? Yeah, them niggas from Greater Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> them them Bethany's. Uh, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> what's some shit you used to do, man, the one? I used to play basketball all the time, shit, up until I tore my knee. Oh, you tore your knee? Yeah, playing basketball because I was literally 325 pounds hooping five days a week. Got crossed the fuck You know over. what I mean? No, it wasn't a crossover. I was jumping up. I was getting motherfuckers. I just... What did you do? It was just being 325 pounds. Coming down from a rebound, though? No, you... you're not hearing me. Oh, okay. I was 330 pounds hooping five days a week. For years on end. <laughs> and, nigga, <laughs> after a while, your knees be like, nigga, if you don't lose weight, we're going to have a problem. And I didn't lose weight, so me and my knees had a problem. Oh, <laughs> so it didn't just It wasn't no one, one acute thing. Like, oh, it was like, nigga, I, slow like, this shit down. Yeah, it was. It was and I played. We it quit. Was, 
<laughs> and I played on the torn knee for a year, just thinking my uh, knee hurting a little bit. I just hurt a little bit. I go out there and play. I can see you saying, fuck that knee. <laughs> fuck that <laughs> little bullshit ass knee. And I go back out there and play. And uh, then, like, my whole knee just turned red from the blood on the inside. And then, uh, then it just was red all, like, up and down my shin. Oh, uh, you had to stop. And I said, fuck it. And then this was this was the cold part about it. Still didn't go to the doctor. Yeah. No, no. No, this happened. I went to the doctor. I went to the doctor. I said, doctor, I need knee surgery. I looked at it. They said, yep, you need a knee surgery. By the time I had my own company, I had my own private insurance. This before Obamacare. And Blue 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 Cross, you motherfuckers, Most Blue Shields, these motherfuckers said, I went, cussing, in for the, I went in for the uh, pre-op, and they said, <laughs> oh, you about to get a knee surgery tomorrow. Oh, you high risk, so we about to drop your fat ass because you got asthma. Ooh. They just gave me a little. And so... Hit you with the asthma. They said, oh, because you got asthma. Let me hear you breathe again. Condition. We going to drop you, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Take a deep yeah. breath. <laughs> and so that that was 2000. I don't think we care for those breaths. <laughs> that was 2006. <laughs> that was 2006. Uh, then Obamacare yeah. finally passed in 2010. Right. And I got my knee surgery in 2011. Ain't that a Fixed bitch? Fixed the motherfucker, tried to play ball again, and said, nah, nigga, them days is over Wait, with. wait, when you the nigga right. saying Obama didn't do shit, nigga, ain't didn't I, do I, nothing? I, I, I say he was a great president for America. I say okay. he didn't do shit for black people. All right, but okay. nigga, specifically, Obamacare was a shit. Specifically, nigga, he I, got I a your kneecap, nigga. No, I, gave, I gave him a credit for that. Oh, okay, okay. Now, okay. you asked for black people. No, okay, you know, okay. They, okay. They, they, you they can still tell that's a real story. Every time you talk about it, nigga, my knees is like, like, hey, man, yeah. It's crazy. Oh, nigga, I give yeah. that nigga credit for us giving me <laughs> some he? money for some broken down cars I had in the back. That clash for conquers. Yeah. Hey, yeah, nigga. That, that. Hey, something for everyone. Yeah, the nigga had licks. I know a nigga got a cell phone off the nigga. Like, yeah. Uh, Obama had licks. I knew a couple here. niggas <laughs> with the little Obama phone. Yeah, yeah. Niggas with complaints and shit. <laughs> nigga, you're literally texting with this nigga's phone. <laughs> That's how it happened. Black people benefited when everybody benefited. But exactly. when the Jews benefited, only the Jews benefited, not black people. That's what's wrong. Obama was yeah. Obama was the most challenged president of all time. Mm. No, he wasn't. No, as far as Congress activity, he was. Oh, Congress, hell yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Congress, Congress hell yeah. activity. So, motherfucker could only do shit that uh, that that. Everybody hey, 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 this motherfucker Trump is challenging. You see, he's saying fuck Congress. <laughs> You can do it. I'm the white the man. Yeah. Trump, I don't need a do Congress. <laughs> executive orders. We already know. Look, the fuck, I'm Trump right, saying. I don't need a like Congress. I my, I Trump had his pen in his ear and was like, all right, fuck this shit. Yeah. <laughs> he came through the door with it. <laughs> <executive laughs> <orders. laughs> Let me chime in on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, man? Uh, the one activity I missed, man, was this event called the Black Family Reunion. Anybody remember that? Yeah. I do. I remember that's the what, thing that what, I miss they don't most do that about no more? LA. Nah, niggas don't do the Black Family Reunion. Wait, no wait, more, was man. that the shit that was at um, Exposition like, Park? Ex- Exposition, yes. oh, Exposition yes, Park. Because yes, it used yes. to be at um, Rancho Cienega by the jungle. Same park, same park by the jungle. Oh, oh, no, 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 they don't. That's damn. one thing oh, that I missed. Yeah. Damn. That's I, one activity that I missed. I didn't think about that. I didn't think yeah. about it either. That's what I'm thinking uh, about, nigga. That was flavorful, man. It was. That was loveliness. It was. That shit was yeah. like right across the street from me growing up. And, and that show, like, really what, what time it is with black people in, in L.A., man, because it gets overlooked and shit. You know what I mean? That we not we that not all unified with thing. a culture and everything. Hey, no, we that can't say that because thing. look what we got coming up this coming Saturday. We got Taste of Soul. It's all over a million black people on Crenshaw. And you don't hear about not one fight every year. Man. It's always over a million. And it's, I'm going to make sure I'm out there. Saturday. When is it? Come, this coming Saturday? Saturday. I'm going to be out um, there. Ohio oh, players yeah. are performing. You know, oh, shit. Yeah, it's, I know you're going to be there. Hell right? yeah. Last year was war and shit, man. Yeah. Lakeside. It'd be over a million black people up there. Yeah, and it don't be not one show. problem. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Hey, man, what y'all think about this, man? Um, rapper Eminem. This nigga did a freestyle, a oh. fuck Trump freestyle uh. that went super viral. Mm-hmm. And basically, he made the pledge that said, to my white fans, if you fuck with Trump, don't fuck with me. That was the gist of it. But he slayed him with, of course, with lyrics and shit or whatever. I don't know if y'all, did anybody hear that shit? I didn't say it. Oh, you got it? Oh, bust out a little bit. 
POTUS day. Let us know. It, it's, it's, I, I look at it two ways. I'm glad, it's cool. I'm glad he said something because you got cultural words like Justin Timberlake and Robin Thicke. They ain't saying shit. He's saying shit. So, you know, I appreciate him on, 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 on that end. You got to say on shit. The, yeah, but on the other end, going after Trump really ain't a stretch. This motherfucker's pissing everybody off who's not a redneck. He pissing most Man, white Trump people off. Piss off Trump everybody. Piss off. He has not left anybody. Yeah, but he's a rapper, dude. He has not. I'm thinking is Trump has not left anybody out. So Even you <laughs> going after Trump? You going after Trump? That's low hanging fruit. That's kind of easy to do because he pissed everyone. He did a great job. I'm not taking nothing from it. But I'm not giving him no extra credit because it's not like <laughs> now if he came out and did a rap for Trayvon Martin when that happened, boom, I go okay. You you stepping out of line. You do you really you you really <laughs> over on that? Shit. Not, 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 on that. not really. If you look yeah. at the whole entourage behind him, I said he has nothing but brothers behind. Yeah, so nigga, you gotta say something, bro. Yeah. Like you're not even speaking yeah. for you. You are speaking for us, actually. Yeah. The niggas that you hang no, with really, all day. Though. Yeah. That's yeah. who you're saying this for. You're not saying it really for though. you. You saying it for the whole yes. entourage behind you because we've yes. been saying it and they're not listening. That's now right. you say it now it's like right. a big deal. But nigga, we told you what to say. Because he That's got a bigger voice. <laughs> look, he got a way bigger <laughs> voice. That's true. That's true. Did all them he got a bigger voice. Guns on him. Was it during a gunpoint? Yeah, in the Hell background. Nah. Like, like, <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> Said it's in a garage somewhere, nigga. It wasn't, you know. Somebody told me it was at the Grammys or something. It was in a garage somewhere. So now, if you get a yeah. real white, like Eminem was born a wigger. He bought her wigger. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you get a real white man to come out and denounce on that level, that's special. But for somebody who hanging around. But he has white <laughs> fans. <laughs> so? But think most of his white fans don't like Trump either. Like, most of them that live in hip hop, they, they, they the liberal races. They're the Hillary Clinton style. They like, they like her. They don't really fuck with Trump either. Because mm. Trump is pissing everybody off. His white fans are extremely... Niggas be saying white boys don't be saying nothing. And once one says some shit, they got some viewership and we give them credit. some listenership. Damn. I mean, we, I mean, and we give him credit, but I'm not going to give you... It's a fire. Eminem that made shit about his mama. Look. That was hot. So Mel Rose, he, 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 you're an MC. Can we at least say, like, oh, the rhyme was hot? The rhyme was hot. God damn. I like how he was like, you're going to be bombing in into the bombs. You're going to float around. <laughs> yeah, nigga. That shit was okay, hot. Okay, 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 M. I hear you. Yeah, with some black Whatever, 1970. Next item. You got them Cadillacs. And then he's going to come out with a beard. Like, my nigga, if you don't <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> nigga. Now he got a beard, next, too. Next item. Waka Flocka Flame. Anybody a fan of Waka Flocka Flame? Not a fan. I'm not really a fan of his music, right. but I heard what he said. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of Waka Flocka on a certain level, but... Um, basically what he says is, look, I'm not a black man. He says, when I did my DNA check, I was so, so, so much percentage of American Indian from one tribe and another percentage of American Indian from another tribe, plus some type German type shit and some other shit. Okay, yeah. So, but what he also said was, which was interesting, which I believe in, is that it's only looking like I'm not African because the Indians are Africans. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is what I gotta say with that. I can tell he's been reading Jer uh, Noble Drawley. I can tell he's been reading. Um, you know, uh, it's a lot of information out there. You know, exactly. on, on which is what he said. Uh, yeah, when it, when it, yeah, and, and he said books. I can name some of the books for you. One of them is just came out a few months ago by Dr. David Imhotep called "The First Americans Were Africans." Okay. And then these books. And if you read, you read these books, these are peer-reviewed research pictures and everything. It's not just somebody's opinion. These are right. scholars that are doing it. Right. You have J.A. Rogers, who back in the 30s and 40s and 20s, all black people should know who J.A. J. Roger Rogers is because he was a researcher from the early part of the century that really went back and told us who we really are. And the term Negro was a reclassification for a lot of Native Americans that were, that were darker skin. Right. They were reclassified in the 1800s as Negroes. And if y'all go back in history and hear about something called the Dolls Rolls, the Dolls Rolls was when they was reclassifying Indians, taking kicking darker people off the Indians' rolls, because that that gave land rights and Native American rights to people who were on it. And for five dollars, if you're white, you can put your name on that list on the Dolls Rolls, and it was called made you a five dollar Indian. But and you got the rights, but at, it was to our detriment. Oh, so you damn, know reclassification. Okay. So what he was, he didn't really articulate it well. 
But I can tell he's just really getting into the information. That's what he said. It's very tough to articulate what is new to it because of shit. Yeah. It's like, boom, because yeah. it's new. Yeah. You told one thing, then you taught you African American. African American wasn't the term until Jesse Jackson came out with exactly. it in the 1960s. See, look, he it wasn't said. Even a thing what, before that. What he said is yeah. like, I'm, I can't even take no side right now. I'm so naked to this because it's so much shit that's it's coming so out much. at me right, right now. Right, right, right. But he says, but what I can say is that I'm not a black man because that classification based on a color is some made up shit. It was. There, there is nobody that's black and exactly. there is nobody that's white, white. or whatever. Yeah, right, that's right. just the easy thing to do to classify somebody in a situation. Yeah. It's really more like your culture that's important is what he's saying. So like I'm of this culture or this culture rather than fucking just limiting myself to nigga color. like yeah. A skin, skin color. color has only benefited white people, and it's only been around for about two hundred years, three hundred years. I mean, that's that something they came up with too. They started it over here, yeah, because because even with them, and like, are you German? Are you Irish? Yeah, are you European, Italian? Right. European? They because it applies to them as well. It applies like, to everyone. Like they belittle themselves by saying I'm white because yeah. really they, you are was, Irish but that, but that or you are. Of, you are, that was all part of the mastermind behind yeah, the capitalistic exactly. society. Yeah, where's the created where you get the capitalism where man. you could uh, tie yourself into a movement that really didn't have yeah. anything to do with you just based on the fact that you were white yeah. and white and really meant just culturally rich divisive. Well, there you go. That was saying you see, some shit. It required but once two you classes. said, yeah. but once you said you was white, it already tied you into the bullshit, yeah. and you felt. Uh, a little more superior. Well, why? Yeah. Well, well, racial hierarchy is is, is the caste system back during feudalism. When you have the serfs and you have the nobles, right? It's that same and caste system about, flipped with yeah, skin color. Exactly. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's what it is. That's right. So over here right. in this system, a capitalistic society, all that means is either you gonna fuck or get fucked. What does <laughs> capitalize? <laughs> what does capitalize mean? To take right. advantage of something or someone. That's the name of this system, and that's basically, bro, what... What I got from that, too, was um, one of the classic lines from uh, Wesley Snipes. Sit your five dollar ass down for my <laughs> chain. Yeah, I think that has some. Yeah, five dollar Indian. That's yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, prime yeah. example. Phil Jackson from the Golden Lakers. Before I make chains, make chains. <laughs> yeah. Before I make chains, your ass to an Indian. <laughs> Wait, what did he call that nigga? A uh, fucking something from the bank. He called that nigga uh, some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Light skinned bank nigga. That's a real historical oh, fact. Yeah. Oh, what In was New Jack name? City. Yeah. Uh, Christopher w- Williams. Yeah. Yeah. What was the Christopher Williams song? Never liked you anyway. Don't wake me. <laughs> I'm dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Girl, a light skin, about you. that's a light skin thing. So not even uh, like, like you was getting it back hey, then. Man, but that like one day, all you light skin, you waking up to that song hey, in the morning. Man. Huh? <laughs> hey man, let me tell you this, man. New Jack City has so many lines, dude. Like, am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Man, you kill a nigga. Yeah, like we built this shit. You didn't together. You didn't build this shit by yourself. But but for those who want to know what Walker Flocker was reading, some information I'm gonna give y'all two books. Color has no ra- uh, race has no color by uh, by um who did I mention his name earlier? Uh, oh, Rogers. Got, uh, Rogers by J. Rogers, uh, and then also by Dr. David Emotep. The first Americans were Africans. You'll see pictures. You'll see linguistic evidence, but botanical. And also, they came before Columbus by Ivan Van Yeah, Sonoma. that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, read those okay, three okay. books, and you'll start to see, okay, he, he sounded a little crazy in the motherfucker, but read it for yourself and get your own opinion. Mm. Hey, look, let me tell you what's trending. Something else, man. There's this shit called hashtag me too. Oh, mm. yeah, for the ladies. For the ladies. And basically what it's born out of is the, the Harvey Weinstein shit. <clears throat> Where he was using his power basically to push up on young actresses. Mm -hmm. So then it came out from the little dudes from the Lost Boys. Damn, what's the dude's name? Um, Corey Feldman. You know who that is, Mm -hmm. right? They came out and said, it happened to us as kids. Like from some pedophilia type mm-hmm. shit, right? Relax, relax, Corey. It's a penis pool. <laughs> it's a pe- <laughs> <laughs> Did he pull you? Pee- <clears throat> There's a movie on the way, Corey. Relax. Yeah, where's your, where's your mom? Where's that's your mom? why his homeboy Corey Haynes killed himself. Yeah, exactly. That's, his, that's what he was saying. That's a why. Penis pool? Once he, came out. Out. he killed himself for what? A penis he, pool? No, nah, he was getting, he was, he was getting he, run up in when he was making all the movies back yeah. in the 90s as a kid. He got ran through. <laughs> 
And, and when he and they they was on a relax. On a, it's a back door. They was on a, <laughs> <laughs> they was on a TV show, and they admitted it to each other, man. And it led to him like fucking up his mind and shit, dude. And, and but he thing is, suicide. he's been saying this for like twenty years. Right. It was a documentary. I want y'all to look it up. It's on YouTube. The shit's been suppressed like a motherfucker, but you can still find it on YouTube. It's called an open secret. Why it got to be open? Because it's an open. It's open because everyone knows. The butt busting party going on in Hollywood, but ain't nobody talking about it. Oh, uh, oh, why? It's a they, documentary okay, called. Okay, why are they busting him out right now? It they want this him. It's literally you watch a documentary. Yeah. It's everybody who's getting roles in the nineties. Like literally everyone who's getting all the roles, nigga. Literally, uh, that was, what's his name? Willis He's from uh, oh, 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 Willis is Tom on there. Bridges. And boy, yeah, Tom Bridges is on there. He talking about. How, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mean how, he fucked them all. He was talking about how he he was getting smashed by by <laughs> by one of the by one of the producers, and yeah, then I one hear dude that. that was a producer at Nickelodeon for kids shows got convicted, went to jail, came out of jail, got hired again at Nickelodeon to produce that show. Wow! And the nigga's still working in Hollywood. Damn, man. I mean, wh- an open secret. Pull up the. It's on YouTube. Pull up the documentary. Don't listen to me. Watch that shit. Damn, open secret, the white man. man. I that was possible could, and shit. I could pull penis. <laughs> oh, just stupid. It's a penis <laughs> pull. Well, look, what people are doing, though. Okay, so now here's where it's bleeding to, though, right? So the Me Too is people are telling their testimonial and saying, like, it happened to Me Too. Oh. So now what's happening is that people are now putting their own, like, non-famous people putting their own testimonies on fucking Facebook and shit like that. Oh shit! That happened like to your them friend. at the job, yeah, or wherever, wow. exactly, or when they were six years yeah. old. Yeah. There's some crazy stories too. They've been sharing like shit. Exactly what they did to Bill Cosby, just on a higher level. And you have to ask yourself: It's like at this age, why you fucked up somewhere, bro? <laughs> They've been knowing you've been doing this. Why is this coming out now? Well, uh, sexual abuse is no game, and our hearts and minds go out to all the people out there. Even doing this shit for sixty years, uh, and it comes keep, out now. Why? Talk to somebody. Why? Why does it come? For real, though, man. For real. Talk I, to somebody. I just want to know shit. Did he do it or not? If he, if, if, why yeah. did he come out? But like, really? Yeah, if, if, even if, even if I get the answer, why? If he, if he out there doing the hell he doing? Yeah. Get yeah. his punk ass out of here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, well, Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby. we have to the watch. We have to watch the same video of his handcuffed ass walking around with that dead ass eye walking out, yeah. crying and shit. Sad I want to see Harvey Weinstein in a penguin suit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him arrest. Why ain't he arrested yet? Never. Why ain't he? I'm ar- white. What do you mean? That's it. Why ain't he arrested yet? Put his ass in jail. I'm not going to jail. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going back to the office Throw tomorrow. My <laughs> finger up somebody's ass. And hey, there are a couple of penis pulls left. <laughs> you see? Hey, this is the cool part about his contract. Pull my penis. The dude had his contract renewed in 2015, and they had provisions for sexual harassment, saying we can't fire you as long as you pay it yourself and pay pay the company back the fine. So it literally made a provision in his contract in 2015 to where he can't be fired from his company for sexual harassment. He wrote the damn contract. It's my <laughs> yeah. company. They yeah. not going nowhere. They gonna get him out, but he gonna get a lot of money to get out. You yeah. gonna you gonna get me out, but you I'm still in. Cause they gotta money. buy him out, motherfucker. Him out. <laughs> you don't just get fired for your forty Ooh. whatever percent, nigga. That's Please. like Trump saying he's no longer a part of Trump Enterprises <laughs> just because he's president. <laughs> Yeah, the fuck. I'm still running. That's well, a lot. Be... Oh, Melrose. I wanted to talk about some shit that was on your page, man. What's up, my brother? To the page with Melrose. You had this interesting thing, dude, that mm. was talking about like a rich man's mind state. Mm. Uh, what was that shit called? It was the secrets to the millionaire's mind. Mm-hmm. Do you not remember that? I do remember. And it said like, and your capture was "Don't think poor, man." Explain that, man. I watched it. This shit was interesting. Um. Uh, I'm starting to realize as I uh, try to focus on obtaining wealth that I have often been a victim of thinking very poor. And it's because I'm around a lot of poor thinkers. And, you know, it's just a way to look at just your everyday circumstances and situations. Like you put a poor spin on your life. You know what I'm saying? Just by the way you think about especially money and one thing that i've always been taught is money is bad 
Like, you don't want to be rich. You don't want to be a rich man. Right. You don't want to ever get wealth because right. it's evil. It's bad. It's, more money, more yeah. problems. You know what I'm shit. saying? Yeah. And I'm, I just got to the point where I started to realize a lot of my problems was because I was fucking broke. <laughs> right. I was having broke problems. Like, it was shit I just couldn't do because I was broke. And it wasn't... And it was just about how I was behaving, how I was handling money, right. where I was putting my money, what I was investing in, what I wasn't investing in. And I just, you know, started talking to some people and they just started turning me on to different um, just ideas on how to become um, wealthy. And not even on I want to be a billionaire, even though I do, but like... A nigga told me like if how do you think you're gonna save a thousand dollars if you wouldn't save one dollar right you know what i'm saying like starting to think about it like you won't even invest one dollar right so you damn sure not gonna invest a thousand or whatever yeah. you got you know what i'm saying exactly so, exactly yeah but look also and ain't nobody gonna invest eight thousand in you no i'm mm. sure nope yeah Especially if you're not investing in yourself. Mm -hmm. Man, mm -hmm. motherfuckers want to jump on a train, nigga. They don't want to push that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. What about you, Duan? What you think about that? About that what? mindset? That's some real shit, because you got to see it. You got to believe it. You know what I mean? Because that, that's why the reason why people hit the lottery and spend it all, because they don't have the opening in their mind to receive it and to hold it. You know what I mean? They got to get rid of it. Right. And that's a mindset. You know, that's a mindset. You know, we as a people, you know, we really can't finance ourselves out of our own oppression if we chose to be disciplined enough to do it. You know what I mean? But we don't because we go for what's the hot thing of the day. And that's the conversation. You know what I mean? If, we, if I, you try to talk about Bitcoin, talk about stocks, that shit's it's not. It's one thing to not understand it. And that's cool. But cats literally, literally laugh it off. It won't take time to go learn it. You right. know what I mean? But we'll talk openly about, you know, what kind of shoes they're going to get and shit. And I'll be like, Seb, ain't nothing wrong with buying Jordans, but put as much money in stock as you do per shoe. Well, you know one you thing know what I mean? that's... just tr One thing that's our problem, too, is... As a people, this thing is ingrained in our culture and shit that we don't think we going to live that long and right, shit. Right, right, right. We don't look so ahead. motherfuckers yeah. don't even yeah. want to put their money up in some stocks that like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 15 years, I'm going to be rich? Oh, nigga, please. Well, motherfuckers got to change about. that mentality, yeah. dude. Like, damn. We see things day to day. Well, time you thought, like, 30 years from now, this is what, this, what life is going to be like. Do you even have an image in your head of, like, what it's going to be like 30 years from now? You know what, man? I don't think that far ahead. That's I what mean, I'm saying. I mean, to a certain degree, to a certain degree, I do slightly, we but don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's too far. <laughs> I might fuck around with like five or six, nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe mm -hmm. seven, like. Yeah. But I don't go thirty. Yeah, I'm motherfucker. Too like Ew. people. People equate money to like their uh, job. So a nigga's money mind state is. What kind of labor I'm gonna do for how many hours? Right. And that's what I'm gonna get. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. like the worst shit that a nigga could ever go through because it make you not even want a lot of money because that means you're gonna have to do a lot of work. Right. And typically some shit that you don't want to do. But see, right. the work is the same though. That's what motherfuckers don't get. The amount of work, how hard a person works yeah. in their life is the same, bro. Mm -hmm. One person just gets more fucking yield from their shit. There's this book, um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Have y'all uh, seen that yeah, shit? Yeah. Nigga, in a nutshell, what it says is Rich Dad says that teaches you how to make your money make money. Mm -hmm. Poor Dad says how to spend your money wisely. Mm -hmm. So, motherfucker... When you're thinking about how to spend your money wisely, right there in the sentence, you're going to spend your shit, nigga. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're spending all your shit. You're just going to do it wisely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where this person is saying, like, how can I make this money that I just made make more money? Mm -hmm. That's the game. Money should work. It should work. Money should work. Mm -hmm. I think Freeze Love said to me, uh, what, what was his quote? Uh, like, the, the money in your pocket is like a pimp. Like, make that pimp go get some hoes. Like, I forget how he put it, uh, but it was, okay. it was very profound. Like, nigga. It is a tool. It was, it was very yeah. profound. Shout out Freeze Love. Shout out Freeze Love. Freeze. Yeah, Freeze is a bad comedian. 
hilarious. That nigga's Money crazy. Years two, yeah, years. Yeah, really, wait, wait, twenty some years. Yeah. Ah. But yeah, it's a tool. It is a tool, man. Um, I wanted to talk about one more thing real quick. Um, and one thing I might have to push off because that shit would take too long, and we'll do that shit next week. But um, I wanted to talk about settling arguments. That mm. shit was trending, right? Mm-hmm. How do you settle an argument? And when you think about it, like, there's an approach to either keeping an argument going or settling it. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> what are some ways that one could settle an argument successfully and not successfully? Well, specifically what type? With your woman or another guy? I think you have to have the ability to accept the fact that your right isn't somebody else's right. And that's what motherfuckers argue about, who's right and who's wrong. You know what I'm saying? So being able to say, okay, my right might not necessarily be your right. And it's not a like there's just one truth, there's just one thing. Like everybody look at shit differently. Like what you've been through and what you've seen with your eyes dictates how you feel about certain things. And those create the facts in your mind. And me the same way. So we could be arguing about some shit. And literally sometimes be saying like the same thing, but just very differently that it sounds like we're not even on the same Mm -hmm. page. You know what I mean? Well, what you say? Solving an argument? Yeah. How does a nigga solve an argument? With his woman? You tell me. Shut the fuck up and let the bitch have her way. <laughs> I want another dude. That <laughs> works. I have to negotiate different methods. That works. That works. Shut the fuck up. Because the thing is, somebody in an argument, they just want to feel like they're right. They're hurt. That's, that, that's, yeah, like maybe it's even more than being right, but just heard. They don't feel hurt. For me, if I'm selling an argument, it's like what Mel Rose said. One, you got to agree that. You got to know that <clears throat> the way you see it is about the way somebody else see it. May be different, right? And you got to be cool that they're not gonna necessarily see the one things the way you do. Second of all, if you're gonna continue the argument and you're trying to prove who's right, you just got a basic in logic. And for me, I, anything, any, any argument I create or talk about, I'm a basic in logic. You know, what I mean, I'm gonna use deductive reasoning. And if what you're using isn't saying isn't sending to logic, I just can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> right. If you ain't, if you just throwing in lies and make conflating lies with your opinion and what you heard, what, what somebody else said. What you what you think, and I'm over here saying, well, this is what uh, this is what happened based on what actually happened, and you want to be in what you think. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up because I ain't got time to be in your head. But look, niggas be thinking that's that just right. because they get loud, that they're winning. And shit. <laughs> that's <laughs> you New York know? shit. You ever argue with a motherfucker that just be sc- yeah? You, what nigga? What what? Like, dude, it doesn't matter really. Like how loud yeah, you yeah. yell, motherfucker. That's barbershop shit all day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They out yell each other like nigga. Bo- <laughs> <laughs> the facts have been laid. <laughs> talking loud ain't saying facts shit. Been, talking loud, dude, does nothing, dude. And then motherfuckers that won't listen does nothing. I don't, you know. I honestly, man, I kind of don't really argue with motherfuckers too much. Real. I might go like one back and forth about two times, nigga. Yeah, that's it. And I just be like, I'm done, nigga. Yeah, I'm out. You won. Let you yeah. think you want. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a. I will. I will spark a debate, though. I'm not an argue type nigga, but I will spark a debate. I I purposely choose the uh, opposition to whatever yo statement is just to see if you really know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I'm with you on that. On every level. Like, I don't give a yeah. fuck. You could be church on Sunday, nigga. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with the Saturday. taking the court type shit. Yeah, yeah, we gotta take this nigga to court right quick. The homie court. Yeah, the homie see. court. I'm with you on that. <laughs> Niggas get taken to homie court and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, homie court. Yeah, you throwing some facts out here, motherfucker. You got to back it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we talking? All right, man. Well, look, shit, man. We had our little one hour point, man. Wow. Uh, let's talk about what everybody's doing. Then we're going to be out of here. We didn't really say hi to Poetis today. Hi, Poetis. Hey, Poetis. Po, po, po. Oh, she threw the little wave of the hand boss and then the pump it up. To the Poetis. Happy Boss Day? Is that what it is? I think it was yesterday or something. Ah, did you feel happy? She bossing up out here, man. She doing her thing. Tell us about it. Pull this real quick. Tell us about Boss Day. (laughs) We all bosses, though, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. 
Yesterday was uh, Boss's Day, and it's a day to, um, you know, show appreciation to your boss, especially if they've been inspirational, a great leader, oh. and stuff like that. Um, but to me, boss means uh, that saying, got to pay the cost to be the boss. That's yeah. like the realest thing to an entrepreneur, for mm. real. Really got to put in long hours and sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Got to, but it feels good. No roses. It feels good because you like get reaping like equal rewards for your efforts. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, niggas it's ain't deferred. Sometimes I don't see no <laughs> office manager in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, what you leaving? What you you taking a half vacation day? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad when it's to that point. Believe me, I get boss around. <laughs> Did anybody appreciate you, though? Did you feel that someone said, like, boss, happy boss day? I mean, what did it, how did it go down? I, I made a little post, and, you know, I got some feedback on it. But I think most of the people who have worked under me, I was pretty tough, but they turned out, and they, they turned out to have great careers mm. at the end of the day. And so my toughness is really out of love, and I expect – a lot from people that are under me. I expect them to want to learn and not waste my time. Right. All right. So we need that. All right. Well, shit, man. Give us some hand claps, man. Happy boss day. Yeah. All right, man. Well, look, I'm Mike Robertson, y'all. Thanks for joining and everything, man. I love y'all. Thanks for listening. Um, We just about having some fun in this motherfucker. That's all we want to do. And, um, you know, we throw a lot of shit around out here, man. But this shit is just all about having fun and clowning a little bit. So we some serious, real motherfuckers that do our thing. And we come in here and have fun. So I just want to say thank y'all for listening. I'm King Mike Boogie, Supreme Microphone Fiend in the place to be. Follow me at King Mike Boogie on everything. Peace out. It's on you, man. We out. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs>